guys look at the lineup this is a beautiful beautiful thing and honestly feels like a dream we're getting ready to go to bmw invasion i slept through all my alarms i'm running late i got my family and friends over there set, uh, getting the, the tent tables the chairs so we can set up when we go over there this is a beautiful thing once we arrive at the venue we'll talk it's been a super hectic morning we rushed here made it just in time to be on the inside booth we got the cars lined up here the m5 the m3 the e90s in the back close to me at the booth i'll show you guys the setup here in a bit first time having a booth like i told you guys on previous videos but honestly i wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys and i truly appreciate it let me go ahead and show you guys the setup here we got it guys we got the f10 pure metal silver obviously we got the titanium intakes charge coolers charge pipes all on deck i got the e46 m3 wrapped carbon fiber front splitter titan 7 wheels michelin ps4 tires i mean the car came out super super sick guys i'm very excited i decided last minute to do a csl carbon fiber trunk from saibon you got the eternal motorsports rear diffuser down there carbon fiber as well it's just a beautiful beautiful things and then we have the booth it's actually a first time running a booth vehicle virals made it possible because you guys vehiclevirals.com instagram youtube and then we have the shirts on deck we have a few of our lease shirts from swap depot from vehicle virals and we got some of the new merch lines right here the e90 m5 obviously you guys are familiar with this one 335 m3 e30 e30 respect Yep. You guys recognize these cars? Probably not. Maybe he's already released a video on it. This is uh, Ali Swap Depot F30, wrapped in this green color. Came out super dope. Side skirt extensions up front, front lip. I mean, it looks absolutely mean. And then, of course, he made his E90 super thick, wide body, and this candy red paint. Look at that front end, guys. He got the thick boy. I got the skinny girl. Came out pretty sick. Look at the interior. I'll show you guys a little bit of the, the rear end right here. Yeah, meaty. I really feel like this F30 was at the last BMW event that I attended like two years ago. Very interesting. Different wheels though. We got a lot of E90s here, M3, non-M3s, E46. Wow, wide body, I gotta go check that out real quick. I mean, no joke here. Look at the setup in the back. Stance Nation, wide body, <laughs> lip to fender. Where y'all at, Stance boys? It's a nice color too, it's like a darker gray. Here's what the front of the car looks like. Super aggressive front end. God, I love E46s, M3s. I think this guy's at the wrong show. And I think he's at the wrong show too, but you know what, we don't discriminate here. As long as you have a nice car to show off, it is what it is, show it off. I'm sure somebody's gonna end up liking it anyways. F80 M3, love that blue color. M Performance exhaust tips, carbon fiber. M2 competition, white, black wheels. Listen, I know a lot of you guys don't like black wheels on light colored cars. I think it looks pretty damn good. Respect your elders, fellas. E30 M3, wing on wing action carbon fiber looks absolutely mint in there no tint so you guys can see inside he really wants to show off the interior and i mean the classics you got to go with the rs's hey y'all want to see a crazy ass m6 here we go <laughs> orange king i've talked to him in the past this car is like custom all the way around i mean everything here has been touched down to the pillows in the back i kind of looked at this wheel for like a half a second and thought half of it was there and half of it wasn't the owner of the car was telling me that when he's driving it legit looks like only half of the wheels there here's the engine bay project gamma intakes front facing of course and then we have the custom valve cover there's actually quite a bit of g80 m3s here m4s i've seen a few i'll show you guys e90 m3 i'll be honest with you guys if i were to ever own an m3 from this generation it would definitely be a sedan nothing against the coupe the sedan is just where it's at Fitman is on point for you bright banana yellow guys e36 looks pretty good matches really well with the bronze wheels i like it we've got another e30 here but this time a vert guys you gotta show some love for the verts man look at the setup he probably gets some crazy ass video footage with that setup it's almost impossible not to like this event if you're a bmw enthusiast you have like every single chassis every model decked out oem plus custom fabricated cars i mean everything it's just absolutely amazing and such a good feeling to be a part of this community take a look at this f10 m5 i've actually seen this on a youtube video there was a guy that was walking around and talking a little bit about it a wide body f10 m5 not a car you see very often this looks like such an expensive build it is absolutely insane look at the lip on the wheels absolutely stunning take a look at the front end of the car guys super aggressive it has a lip that looks like it was paint matched and then a carbon splitter Ooh. oh the hood too with the carbon fiber accents you gotta love let it. me give you guys a better angle there it is wow e93 boys stand up stand up s65 m3 red interior 
Six speed manual, baby. If I'm not mistaken, this might be the same vinyl wrap I had on the A93. That matte titanium silver, I already forgot the name of it, but it looks like a very similar color. They even have this main area here by the front entrance that's pretty packed with cars as well. So we got the, you know, BMW Supra, another BMW Supra, another BMW Supra, another BMW Supra. <laughs> I'm kidding, Toyota Supra. And then we have the E46 M3 over the way over there. And check out these cars. Man, Scooby Doo, baby. Yo, we're bringing back Underglow. What's up? I've legit gotten to meet so many of you guys today. It's been absolutely unreal and it's so life changing that you know i can reach such a broad audience all over the world really do appreciate you guys i'm sure i'm going to continue to meet you guys it's freaking awesome if you guys weren't able to make this event this time around i'm sure we'll host maybe another event sometime in the future like hosted by me we'll see i'm actually here with kenneth co-finder of bmw invasion it's i'm fixed. running out of breath here yeah. trying to capture everything on footage yeah. what's going on man how do so, you feel yeah, i'm you? drenched in sweat <laughs> i've had one hour sleep and to be honest, I'm blown away by the support. The amount of people that have come here to this one location, just about BMWs, is just insane. We have people coming from Vermont, Jamaica. It's insane, like, it's this car is still funneling in. in. This car is still funneling in, but what this is really about, the BMW community. We're the best car community out there, Hands and this down. shows it, Hands this down. shows it. Hands down. And I'm gonna let you walk around and check it out. There's, there's so many things you haven't seen yet. No, there's a whole bunch of things. We're about to hit up the outside section. I heard there's some pretty unique builds out there. Definitely gonna get all that footage for you guys that weren't able to make the event. But I gotta thank Kenneth, Miguel, the team at BMW Invasion for hosting this and allowing the community to come together. I've met so many individuals that watch my videos. It's just, I'm, I'm blown, blown, yeah. blown away. Yeah. It's such a humbling yes. feeling oh that God. you reach people from all over the place and they take their time to come here yeah. for a specific person, a specific culture yes. or anything like that. Exactly, because I gotta say, like, when I watch other people's videos, it's an escape from reality sometimes, and you get to really indulge in those videos, and that's what the car community is about, positivity. You got a couple of G80s here showcased back to back in all three individual colors. I mean, it's absolutely amazing. The pathway to all side looks absolutely amazing too. I'm telling you, it's really hard to even catch my breath with everything that I'm seeing. Honestly, I don't even think I'll be able to show you guys all the cars here. There's so much and it stretches so far down this way, guys. There's just so much to show you guys. I wish I could do it, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do it. I'm actually uh, about to approach some groups that I'm very familiar with, companies that I work very close with. And that is Titan 7, Moton ASTs, and CSF Race. Let me show you guys a little bit about their booth. We got the CSF booth, the kings of cooling. You know what, guys, I rock a lot of CSF stuff on my cars and BMWs for cooling. The F30 is gonna get tons of CSF upgrades as well. The F10 M5 has probably the most beautiful charge cools you'll ever see on that platform. Matches the carbon ceramic brakes. Very good company. If you guys need any kind of CSF products, we do sell it on our website, vehiclebrows.com. You don't have to stop at the Moton AST booth. Obviously, I rocked their suspension on the E46 M3 and E9335, and it's a beautiful thing. They ride absolutely amazing. They're completely adjustable, so you can really dial in the fitment for the tires and the wheels, the, you know, the ride height of the car. And if you ever needed to upgrade or replace any parts, these are all buildable, which is the biggest positive perk about these kits. You guys always ask about the wheels on my E46 M3 and the E90. They came out really, really well. One of the big, biggest things that surprised me when I first found out about Titan 7 is how you guys can keep the cost down for fully forged wheels. Tell me how you guys can keep the cost down on fully forged wheels, because those are normally pretty expensive with other companies. Well, you know what? Uh, with having, you know, our company model is Forge for All, right? Yeah. And so that was our main premise. When we started a Forge Wheel company, you know, like I used to work in, in with other Forge Wheel companies back in the day, and they were always really expensive. You know, they were really aspirational. And, and what I wanted to do is, you know, when you build your car, everyone's going faster. They're adding a lot of things with proper componentry. But then when you cheap out on tires and wheels, that's like, that's like a, it's blasphemous us right Craig I feel like you go backwards in that way. you do you do and everything needs to be a, a proper upgrade so uh, in terms of uh, and so our company model is Forge for All and how we did that is we really looked at you know from A to Z right the manufacturing side logistics mm -hmm. how things are sold and you know everything kind of adds up and so in terms of the manufacturing side uh, you know our partner factories you know everything is done in-house from the forging you know, to the machining, you know, heat treatment, everything is done one in place. A lot of forged manufacturers, what happens is they'll buy the forgings from somewhere, mm -hmm. then they send it out to get machined, paint it. So there's a lot of inefficiencies because they have to uh, sublet a lot of work. Got it. So that's number one. Uh, number two, you know, we are factory direct to the consumer. 
right? So we do have dealers that also uh, support, but we don't. There's not a lot of middlemen, so we mm. we cut a lot a lot of that, and that's where lot, sometimes things get taxed as well, right? And so by putting that, all, if we start adding all of that into one thing, then you know we're able to kind of pioneer that wave of a forged wheel company that has product that's you know attainable by anybody so yeah so next time you guys are looking for aftermarket wheels obviously light wheels if you're pushing a lot of power with the bmws definitely take a look at titan 7 it seems like they always have a new design coming out uh different colors they're always innovating like i said i rock them on the e90 e46 i've had really good experience with them the colors are super unique and uh they're just they're just beautiful matt has quite the setup here Holy moly. Detail stuff, garage stuff. If you need any of that stuff, Obsessed Garage is the place to go. We got the great Matt right here. Tell me a little bit about the E92 M3 you're giving away, man. Well, you know, it's not really a giveaway, right? It's like sell a bunch of stuff to try to pay for that one, which cost me a freaking fortune. So this is my car, bro. You know, I've done giveaways before, but mm -hmm. like this is like me in a You know, I was super surprised when you announced you're giving away that car well, that you play The only way that I do it is if I found a better one. And so that one has 861 miles on it. It's mm -hmm. like reliving something that you can't relive. Well, I'm Got doing it. it. And so that's the only reason I'm doing it. So this is my car. So I'm going to build that one exactly the way that I built this one, uh -huh. just with less miles. And so, you know, we're selling a bunch of stuff and hoping that I can pay for it. And then I'm going to give it to somebody who bought like a $5 t-shirt. How do you feel about the switching color from Le Mans blue to what, Montego? It's Interlago. Interlago, ah, I got to confuse. Interlago blue. Le Mans is better. That's the only thing that stinks. But single hump, so no nav, mm -hmm. manual, manual seats, comp package, those are the keys. 2013, 2013. So it's the best year, it's the best spec. I can deal with the fact that if the, you don't have Le Mans and Interlago sitting next to each other, it's okay. It's okay. okay. I can I can handle it. Still has less than a thousand miles? Yeah, I've only put 0.3 on it. I'm gonna drive it. I'm just waiting to get the PPF done. You know what's crazy? I watched the video and the first thing you were talking about doing headlights on the car, and I was like, headlights? Well, less man, than a thousand miles? You paid what, 120k well, for I, the car? But I bought new headlights, so I'll take the OE headlights and I'll put them in a bubble put them away got it and then i'll take the bay optics which you love i know you love the bay optics like i do right i i have the the guys at bay optics make them more oe looking you know so they're not super aftermarket so i do the round you know round angel eyes and stuff just black them out and then we'll take the oe ones and put them away and then if anybody ever sold the car I put it back together no one will even know you know that's one thing that i get a lot of crap for is especially on limited cars or rare cars put in modifications on them and stuff like that. But a lot of those are bolt-on modifications, like you said, you can set them aside, yeah. put it back later on. And at the end of the day, it's your car, my car, who cares? I, I don't think thinks these, about what do they call those cars? Like zero turn cars where they, you know, they, they can tell if a bolt's been turned. I don't, I don't care that much. There's people that exist like that? Oh yeah, in the, like the classic car world, there's like zero turn cars. Yeah, that's a lot true. of the old cars will have a paint line and if you know if it's if it's not exact, it'll devalue it. I don't freaking care. <laughs> I don't buy a car for other people, I'm buying it for myself. <laughs> It's like when you buy a house, do you buy a house for resale or do you buy it to live in it? I buy it to live in it. Yeah, exactly. And I'll figure out the rest later. So how long do people have to enter this giveaway for? So March 15th. March 15th. Go to obsessedgarage.com, buy a bunch of crap. It has to say giveaway on it. So go to the, the when you go to the home page, you click the button, it takes you to the giveaway page. You can buy anything detailing, anything apparel, every five bucks you spend makes me richer and hopefully gets you a car. Uh, you know what? I kind of owe this to Matt. Cause I did the first giveaway thanks to him. Yeah. I, I I started a website selling parts thanks to him. I bought an F10 and five thanks to his car because I, I reviewed know. it. I don't know if that's thanks, but appreciate you guys. I appreciate you taking some time to talk to us. And I'm gonna continue the rest of the show. I'm extremely tired, brother. So I'm trying to push through. Wake it up. Let's go. I don't it's know. Wake me up. How do you do it? You, you, I know you're used to sleep until noon, but... Yeah, right. <laughs> I got my boy Rodney here. What's up? He's not even a BMW guy, but he's out here, though. Oh, definitely, definitely. He likes the actual Toyota Supra, not the BMW <laughs> Supra, you know what I mean? Yoda gang, let's go. Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> Here's a booth that's right next to me that you guys should be very familiar with. I've partnered with them for about two years now. They've helped me with the E46 M3, F10 M5, E90, suspension, subframe reinforcement, turbo upgrades, everything, you name it. You guys are familiar with Sean. He's been in my videos before. What's up, guys? Helps run PSI. You guys have a pretty sweet booth here, man. Yeah, thanks, man. We brought every generation of M3, E30, E36, E46, E90, F82, and then 
my pink G80 is over there. Got it. Let's go look at that G80 real quick. Yeah. I think anybody really expected what you have going on with G80 here. I made a video on it not too long ago. It was that Isle of Man Green. Yeah. And you went to like this pinkish, purplish color, which actually doesn't look too bad. Yeah, it's a Porsche color. It's uh, called Ruby Stone. It's from the 90s. It's in a Nozatech film, so it's super gloss because I wanted it to look like it was painted. I actually had a lot of customers that are looking for this car, walk right by it and come to the booth and say, hey, where's your green car? <laughs> I said, well, it's actually over here and it's pink now. So I was looking at the new, what is that, the Vorsteiner carbon fiber grill. I think that's the best solution for everybody that's been crying about the front end of the car. Yeah, it shuts people up, but it, you know, it's a GT3 <laughs> style. So it literally, you know, this is the regular style here, which you can actually show, you know, which isn't bad. I don't hate it, but a lot of people do. So that's the new Vorsteiner front. This is Vorsteiner lip. It has the in-performance sides. It has a Kropovich exhaust, it has our mid-pipe on it, which you've been selling a lot, which we actually have over in the booth. So you should come over there, we'll check that out. Sweet, just so you guys can see a closer view of the Vorsteiner kit, the grills, you have the front lip, and you have the trunk spoiler to complete the kit. So I've been seeing on Instagram a lot, a lot of G80s are rocking this mid-pipe setup that you guys have. Yeah, we've sold close to 100 of these now. So these are all made in-house, 304 stainless. It's rid of the resonator, it fixes the sound. The car's too quiet. I made the joke, it sounds like a Lexus. Well, <laughs> this makes the car sound like it should have sounded from BMW M. So we sell a lot of them, hit me up for them. I also have some new products here, which we're actually making brake lines. These are stainless brake lines, E46 M3. I actually have them for G80 as well. And these are all stainless. Normally these are galvanized fittings. I wanted to make these super nice. So these are now pretty much the nicest brake lines you can buy. Sweet. So also available soon. Some of the cars that PSI brought, E46 M3. Of course, you guys saw that, the last BMW Invasion. Supercharged, E90 M3, E36 with an S54 swap, F82 M4, which is absolutely slammed. And by the way, that is static. That's not even air. E30 M3, S52 swapped, E92 M3. This next guy that I'm about to approach, I think you guys know him and recognize him very well. This is 135 right here, Beamer Street, Jake Spence. So one thing that I want to know about, is that the same N54 you had just a couple weeks ago? It is. This is what? N54 number two though. So I blew up the stock one. This is another stock one. Correct. This one's knocking, but I trailered it across the country just to be here for this show. Still working on the built engine. That's coming, not yet, but it's coming. Oh my God, dude, you got some balls, man, and I'm glad that you did it, bro. You did it for the BMW community. I it's did it for it you is. guys, and you're awesome, man. I, I'm <laughs> glad to meet you. You know, we're kind of both in the same boat. I haven't told him my story, though. That's the only thing. There's something going on with my N54, uh -oh. but it's not quite there. Uh-oh. So I'm looking into built, op uh, built options, but they're so expensive. You get one, like, fully optional, 17K, something like that. Or you can just keep recycling junkyard M54s and That's just going that way. That's the situation I'm in. I'm like, should I just buy another stock engine? I don't know. I'm watching you with your clapped build, though. Your clapper. Dude, the, the clap clapper. build. Listen, that the clap clapper. build is the most popular part of my channel right now. Really? Just saying. It's I getting more engagement, more views. People just like clap cars, maybe. Yeah. Maybe they can relate more. That's You're probably what it, it is. Man. You're killing Anyways, bro. That's Jake Spence. You know what it is. We're killing oh, it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, no. What do you mean, hell no? You guys remember her? I think last time she was in a video was when I surprised her with a Mazda CX-5. She's been running the booth. She's been a real champ here. Are you really taking a picture? Look at this guy. What's up, y'all? So she's been the real MVP running the booth, learning a little bit about BMW, answering questions, getting all this merch to happy customers and fans of the channel. Thank you. You've been amazing. We're not kissing on video, though. No kissy kissy. <laughs> How do you feel to be officially part of the team? The people now also have my own business. <laughs> oh, this is your business. I'm a fraud, this is all you. <laughs> no. That's your E90 right there. Finally get to hang out with this guy today. <laughs> tired. We're tired, we're, we're extremely tired. But three, uh, three hours of sleep. We haven't been able to like do much because there's just people stop. You know, it's a good problem to have. It's not really a problem. I guess it's a humbling experience. We have a lot of people just coming up, you know, happy to meet us, posting us, taking pictures and all that good stuff. So we haven't really got a lot of good content for you guys, but we're gonna head outside and see if we can find something interesting. Burnout competition, exhaust competition, something. Yeah. Maybe, let's go. There you go, baby, we got the Dominican colors. Ah, I'm feeling kind of ballsy right here. I think my E90 can take it. What do you think? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the front tires are meatier than my rear tires by a lot. Damn, bro. 
bro. Damn, bro. <laughs> There's only really so much that I've been able to capture. Like I said, because we're trying to run the booth as well, and there's you know, a lot of people that are trying to meet me and stuff like that. So, um, I think that next time they have an event, similar like this, maybe kind of make an attempt to try to make it, because it's pretty cool. You get to see a lot of different builds. I guess you guys gotta kind of give the guy an A for effort. <laughs> Taking selfies, what's up? Oh, sh this is my rest. <laughs> what the? F bro? I this is probably the craziest 335 creator in the internet. What's right going here? on, boys? Bro? What's up? How you doing? Damn, bro. No limits right yeah, here. Yeah, right here. Hey, we <laughs> lost the camera today. Someone stole it. What? Yeah, th last night somebody back stole back my back camera. Back it's back it's gone. So, this guy right here, he's very controversial because he does yeah. a lot of crazy. I've decided that I've tried to I've tried to support these guys at least once just to test the waters and it, it, it went pretty well so I think I'll continue to do that. Oh, yeah. But I got a lot of crap when I found out when people found out that that happened. They're like, yeah. dude, nah, bro, that's bro, that's not your type. No, man, don't. Nah, man. I was like, bro, <laughs> rowdy, listen, we're in a different era and things are a little bit edgier now. Oh yeah. yeah. That's what it appeals. Yeah, you got to do what you got to do, yeah. bro. And you see right. his comment section, it's always oh, flooded. Yeah. So you got to get rowdy, boys. Man. But you ain't bringing 335 though. Nope, next year. Next year, <laughs> we're blowing the motor right here. We're blowing bad, the motor. Yeah, you got to check out his channel. They're funny as hell. So I kind of arrived late to the burnout competition. I didn't get to see the earlier one because I was busy. I mean, the G80 was pretty, pretty cool. I, I thought the Super was better just because it went a little bit <laughs> A little bit longer, overall. But everybody was, loved the G80. This was like okay. It was decent. It was anything that like super wild. But like I said, I got there late. Maybe there was I better. To see some flames and you know some hood rat. Yeah, don't you got flames in the hood rat? I do. But the cars inside. There's like an endless amount of cars out here to even show you guys. So it's really hard to show you what's going on. Just know that everybody's starting to rev engines out here. And it's getting pretty crazy, I guess, because it's almost time for the event to end. He's dragging me so we can go see an X5M. He has a really soft spot for X5Ms. A car that I was going to get at one point, but I really wanted the F10 M5. M6 in minty color. You like the M6? I mean, the color. The color is different. It's like a mint. Yeah. Listen, I wish I had a super like this, man, because... I don't know, they're just so capable. I don't think my viewers are going to like that I said that, but I kind of need a super. It's a bammed up. So a lot of you guys were upset when I got an M55 F30. You guys wanted me to get 340 with a B58. I need a B58, and that's probably going to be the next car, maybe. We'll see. I'll surprise you guys. I like that color. I'm talking about the front end. Bash bar? Drift car. Obviously, you guys can see there's a lot more cars all the way around me. I'm not going to show you guys each individual ones. I'm just looking for special ones and hey, ones that stand out. CSF, baby. S63, baby. There's a lot more M6s here than there are M5s. Got a few E92 M3s here. That Lime Rock Orange is absolutely stunning. I just didn't think it looked good on the M5, but on 3 Series cars, it looks amazing. I feel kind of bad because I didn't get this little man right here in merch shirt. 
he's not wearing one of my merchandise shirts. But he's been helping out with doing absolutely nothing and loving me. And that's about it. Big down. Hi. Hi, Mira. Hi. So it looks like we're about to wrap up here. Vendors are taking down their tents and moving cars out of the way. Time went by so fast because I got to meet so many of you guys and I got to see like so many exciting builds. Uh, we'll probably continue the video once we get out of here so I can show you guys all the cars together outside and not in this kind of bad lighting. We'll see. What up, big man? <laughs> I've never really put my father on video. He's one of the biggest supporters. He's watched every single video. He's helped clean the cars for this event last minute. He's talked a lot of too. I got my Norris right here, stepmother. She helped with the sweatshop and the t-shirts, holding it down. Without them, it wouldn't be possible. Got my sister right back there. She's expecting a cutie pie, that's for sure. So congrats to her. Really appreciate it because all my friends and families all came into clutch today. Something that I didn't think was going to be possible. We made it work. Such an MVP. Such an MVP. Found it. No, no, real found it. Great down. Found it. Hey! I wanted to show you guys what the cars look like in the daylight. It's a night and day difference from the inside. M5, pure metal silver, Le Mans blue. You guys know the car very well. And of course, the E46 M3. It's not every day, actually it's never, that I get all three of my cars together at the same spot, all working, properly done, build complete. Well, build it's never complete, but it's an amazing thing to see all three of my cars together. And thanks to you guys, you know, we've been able to build these cars, I think in a very cool way. And it's not gonna stop. These builds are not done, and new builds are never gonna end. We got a few more cars coming to the channel very, very soon. I'm super excited. This is awesome. You guys are all amazing. All the people that I met today, all the fans, all the viewers. Such a really good feeling. Before you guys leave the video, do me a solid. Hit the like button, really does help out the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, thanks for watching. Till next time. Thanks.